The Karnataka government scrapped the 4 percentage reservations given to Muslims as the Bharatiya Janata Party does not believe in appeasement politics. This was said by the Union Minister Amit Shah describing the quota as constitutionally invalid. Karnataka hid the reservation given to the Lingayat and the Vakaliga communities but scrapped the separate quota for Muslims in a politically significant move just months before high-stake assembly elections are in due. Amit Shah said the previous government led by Congress gave the reservation for Muslims community for political gains. The reservation for minorities is not constitutionally valid. There is no provisions in the constitution to give reservation based on religion. He said while addressing two rallies in Goratega village in Bidar district and Gambur in Rachu district. In, in decisions that 4 percent is reservation for Muslim under the OBC quota was scrapped and distributed equally among the dominant Vakaliga and Lingayat communities. Lingayat who made up 17 percent of the state and Vakaligas who compromise of 15 percentage of the state total population. These are two Karnataka's most powerful communities and their backing is critically across law swath of constitutionists. The ruling BJP is looking to retrain power by staving off a challenge from the Congress and the Janata Dal. The BJP does not believe in appeasement, so it decided to change the reservation. This was the official statement by the Union Minister Amit Shah. When the state of Karnataka led by H.T. Devagoda in 1994 fixed the reservation reservation for Muslims in the state at 4 percentage and an order to this effect was passed in 1995. With the recent Kabyan decision, the reservation for Vokalias rose from 4 percentage to 6 percentage and for Lingayat it from 5 percentage to 7 percentage, contributing the 4 percentage of the Muslim-based reservation and separating and dividing equally for two majority communities of Karnataka. The EW's category currently comprises Brahmins, Jains, Arya Vaishnavas, Nagardas and Mudalyas which constitutes around 4 percentage of the state's population. Now the Muslim community which constitutes totally around 13 percentage of the state's population will be added to this group. So the Muslim population of Karnataka will be categorized as EWS, economically weaker section. Addressing a public gathering after inaugurating the Gorata Matrias Memorial and the statue of country's first home minister Sardar Vallavai Patel as Gorata village, Amit Shah also accused the Congress for not remembering Remembering those who fought and sacrificed their lives for the liberation of Hyderabad from the brutal rule of Nizam. Amit Shah also hoisted a one or three height, one or three feet height tricolor flag as Gorata, which is also known as the Jalian Wala Bagh of South India. Paying his obeisance to Sardar Vallabhai Patel, he said had that nothing been Patel, Hyderabad would not been have liberators since now. Nothing that the BJP never believed in the appeasement. Amit Shah said that the BS Edurapa led BJP government has renamed the Airways while Hyderabad Karnataka region as Kalyana Karnataka. Because Hyderabad Nizam ruled the region, it was called Hyderabad Karnataka region. It is a Congress which allowed the symbol of India's slavery to continue here, but Edurapa renamed it as Kalyana Karnataka, he said, which Amit Shah quoted. The Congress hit back saying that it would not restore the reservation for Muslims if it is voted to power again. Determining the Karnataka government decision to move Muslims in 10 percentage EWS pool, unconstitutional. State Congress President D.K. Shiv Kumar said it is the right of minorities. Meanwhile, the leaders of the Muslim community have said they will challenge the move in the court. So, do you think that reservation for the peoples for the population of Karnataka is necessary? Your comments are welcome here. Stay tuned with English Sangadi for further updates.